are you willing to apply for education credential assessment for express entry of Canada but facing any kind of trouble with WES? Then this video, I'll tell you about an alternative, how you can apply your ECA through IQAS. I'll tell you the step-by-step -step process, how much it will actually cost you, I'll tell you how much time it does take and also the required documents as well. Basically everything you need to know about IQAS in this video. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. IQAS stands for International Qualifications Assessment Service. It has got its office in Edmonton, Alberta. Just like WES, IQAS is also recognized by IRCC for Education Credential Assessment for its immigration purposes. Now, without wasting any more time, let me quickly tell you some key points about it. If you want to get your education credential assessment done through IQAS, in that case, you only need your highest completed educational credential to be assessed. So this is a good news for people who, you know, have any kind of issues with their bachelor's degree. So if you have any, you know, if you have done your bachelor's and your master's, you need not submit the documents for your bachelor's degree, you only need to submit the documents for your master's degree. Okay, now the official transcripts need to be sent directly by the university. IQAS will not accept documents sent by a college unless it is an autonomous college. So this is something different from WES again. WES gives you a chance of sending documents to yourself. So you can get your uh, transcript from your university and then send it back to the WES office. But here it is not possible. The transcripts should be sent directly by the university to them. Okay. Now let's talk about documents which are required. Proof of name. So it should be a photocopy of your government issued ID proof, just like passport, your driving license, etc. Proof of name change. Required if current name is different from educational documents, only then it is required. Photocopy of marriage certificate or passport can work. So it's mostly for those ladies who got married, got, got their last name changed. So in that case, you need to furnish some document to them. Okay, diploma degree certificates. So photocopies are required and notarization is not required. In case of PhD, doc, photocopy of a degree and cover page of thesis is required. And again, notarization is not required. Official transcripts, as I told you, it needs to be sent by the university directly to the IQS office in Edmonton. And in the case of a PhD holder, a letter confirming award of PhD needs to be sent by the university directly to the uh, IQAS office. Translation of non-English education documents. It needs to be completed by the qualified professional translator, but the translator translation needs not to be notarized. So I'm telling you everything in quite detail actually because you know I do get a lot of queries about notarization. Do we need to send the photocopies or the original documents? So I'm telling you everything in detail. Now the documents might actually differ from one country to the other. So towards the end of this video, I'll show you which all documents are required for which country. Actually, they've got a PDF and you can go on to check if you belong to a different country, which all the documents are required. So that thing towards the end of this video. Okay, processing times. At least 12 weeks. Now, this is quite high. At least 12 weeks, they say. So it means that it would take you from three months to four months to get everything processed and get your ECA done. Cost. The application fee is 
$200 per applicant. The courier fee is $15 for Canadian address and $75 for international address. Now these are Canadian dollars that we're talking about. And the second thing is that if you want your if you want to apply the ECA for your spouse as well, it would be a different application. It cannot be done in the separate application, but the courier fee, the courier can be sent in the uh, same. So you can save those $75, but not $200. Okay, the step-by-step -step process. Now I've divided this into two sections, the applicant and the IQAS. So first of all, you need to gather all the documents that you need to give that are already listed before. After that, you have to complete the online application and mail by post and monitor your delivery through courier. Now, when you complete the application, you'll need to pay the application fee. What IQS will do after that is that they'll send you an email when your package is opened. The time is required to process mail and may take several weeks for the email confirmation. Now, I've taken these screenshots directly from the IQS website, so you need not worry about any authentication. The third thing is request. What you need to do is uh, request your official transcripts from your school and then your from the university rather, and that the university would send it to the IQAS office. You'll receive an email after all the transcripts have been received and verified. So processing time starts after the transcripts have been received by the IQAS. So you can count three months after that. Now, when IQS completes your assessment, you'll receive an electronic copy as well as a hard copy. They will send it through courier for which they have actually already charged. Okay, now let's quickly summarize it. The envelope you send to IQS should have a completed application checklist. Now there's a checklist, I'll show it to you quickly after this, that you need to complete and send it to them. You should send the application form including with including the online payment receipt you do also have an option of a check or a demand or something like that but i'm sure that you no know, most people would choose the online payment option you have to submit the proof of name you have to submit the proof of name of change if it is applicable photocopies of your degree or diploma certificates translation of all non-english educational documents as well and of course, the transcripts or the statements of mark would be sent to the university separately. Okay, now let's check out a few important documents. Okay, so guys, this is the document where... Okay guys, so this is the PDF file where you can find the required documents for different countries. If you click any of those countries, you'll definitely find, you know, uh, where, which is required, which all documents are required. So let's see, uh, if you click on India, you'll find which all documents are required for education done in India. Let's say if you have done bachelor's degree, postgraduate diploma, master's degree, master of philosophy or doctor's degree, in that case, you need to submit your degree certificate, the photocopy of degree certificate and how you just submit it, you have to send it to IQAS. However, the transcript needs to be submitted by the institution or rather the university to the IQAS. So similarly, you can find it for different countries. All the countries are listed over here. So anybody who is from Jamaica or you know, Japan can definitely find out the details over here. Now, the second document, this is the record request of academic records. This is the form that you have to fill up and send it to your university. The first part you have to fill up over here. You have to provide the IQAS reference number. This is the most important part over here. You have to provide the reference number that, is, that gets generated after you do the payment and fill the application form online. Do the signature, fill up the date and then after that you have to uh, send it to the university your university and then those guys will actually need to send these details over here and send it 
to this address in Alberta. Okay, after this, let me quickly tell you about the transcripts. They've clearly mentioned it over here that the release record should show all documents completed and all grades marks awarded for all years of study. Please complete this form, package it with academic records in a sealed envelope that is signed and stamped with the institution's official seal across the back flap, which means that the, you know, the, the format for the transcript remains same as the WES. You need not do any changes. Please be very, very strict with the format of the transcript. Okay, so this was the request of academic records that you need to send to your uh, university and the university will send you know keep it in an envelope this this form and then the transcript as well and send it to the iqas office okay the third document this is the eca checklist you have to complete this checklist and keep it in the in that envelope that you will be sending across so it was one of those required documents that should be sent in that envelope. You have to fill in, you know, the details over here. They'll cross check it, the details. You just have to send the, uh, fill in your name, which all uh, documents you're actually providing. So let's say you don't need a name change. You should not check this checkbox in that case. Just check it, check the other uh, checkboxes, whatever is applicable for you. So I was talking about the alternate payment method. It's the bank draft or money order. You can actually do the payment through bank draft or money order as well, but I'm sure most of us will choose the online payment method now. So uh, you just have to check which all documents have been provided by you and fill up this form and keep it in the same envelope. So these are the three most important documents or other PDF files that are available on the website of IQAS that I need to tell you about. If you want, I can provide you the link to this website. You know, all these documents are present in this website only. Now, very important question. I'm sure you guys will start asking as soon as, uh, you know, I release this video. You'll ask about the specific institutions is this institution recognized by by IQAS they haven't got any tool like that so I cannot confirm if they can actually you know if they'll recognize a particular institution or not there are high chances that they do recognize because they take a lot of time to do it but it is better you directly call them you contact them and then you can actually ask them your queries maybe if they're available on Twitter you can contact them I won't be able to answer the queries related to specific universities. So that was all the information that I wanted to convey uh, to you through this video about IC, IQAS. So thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would be useful for them. And please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.